Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the surface igniter. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new surface igniter. The main reason you'd be changing out the surface igniter is if it's no longer providing spark to the burner to ignite the gas because either the wire shorted out or the porcelain cracked. In order to access underneath the cooktop, we have to remove all the grates and the burner heads. On this particular model, they just lift right off. Next, we have to remove the screws that hold the burner tube assemblies to the cooktop. Now that you have all your burner tubes disconnected from the cooktop, you can take a small screwdriver and stick it under each side and pry up. There's a little release clip. Then you can slowly lift up the cooktop, making sure that you don't pull out any wires or anything. Once you have everything disconnected from the top and it lifted up, you can use something to support it. It doesn't have a stand like a car hood or anything like that. So just use a piece of wood and support it so it stays up. In order to get the top burner igniter out, we have to follow the wire back to the spark module and unplug it at the spark module. Once you follow the wire back to the spark module, you can kind of lift this shield out of the way and then reach back and disconnect it. Once you have it disconnected, you can pull the wire out. Now that we have the wire disconnected from the spark module, we can take and push up on the igniter from the bottom and then grab it and pull it out of the clip. The clip actually stays in the cooktop and you can pull the wire up through it. Here's the old surface igniter next to the new igniter. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new igniter in, we can just feed the wire through the clip and very gently push the igniter back down into the bracket. All right, now we can reroute the wire underneath the support bar back over the spark module. We can bend the little shield out of the way so we can gain access and just plug the new igniter into the spark module. Now that we're done with the repair inside the cooktop, we can remove the wood block and lower the cooktop back down. All these burner tube assemblies have to be put back in place the same way. You're going to have to grab them with your hands and line up the holes so you can get at least one screw in and then that will allow you to put the second screw in. Now that we have all the burner tube assemblies reattached to the stovetop, we can put back on the burners and the grates. When you set the burners down, make sure you don't damage the igniters. Now that you're done repairing your gas range, you can plug it back in and test it out. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.